Ladies and gentlemen, we are back with episode two of Big Dog Millionaire. Episode one, Nick, I think got like eight questions deep. There's 14 questions, Tony. Are you familiar with this game? No. I'm getting, I'm getting a little fast paced. Excuse mm. me. We're playing Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. The game works this way. There are 14 questions. Wow, that's a lot of money on the board. If you can answer the million dollar question and get there flawlessly through 14 the viewers will be winning a prize. Not us, unfortunately, but a million-dollar prize. Will oh, be I'm going doing this the for the viewers. For the people. Oh, sh- okay. I got to be the people's champ right and now. what the people earn is a free, brand-new, crispy, clean merchandise from BDG. There's a sample of some things we're cooking on. That's not the official, but it's pretty close. We have a couple more examples. The winner out there that will be a millionaire will get a shirt from BDGE. Of their choice, but in order to get that, Tony has to know ball. Along the way, you get a couple helpers. Okay. The three helpers are, one time, you could take a poll from everyone in the office. So okay. They'll all come in, give an answer, get out. Another time, every question's multiple choice. You can narrow it down to a 50-50 shot. I will eliminate two answers. And then the third choice is, you get to one-on-one talk to someone. Someone of your choice in the office. The other one... The group one, the poll one, no no feedback. You just get their answer. No yapping it out. Okay. To be honest, knowing the guys in the office, I kind of think the group one might turn into a one-on-one. This like, I'll, I'll take a poll if I have to, but I'm going to be listening to, like, one dude's no, no, opinion. No. Unfortunately, you don't get to know who says what. I'll have to take the poll and come back and be like, two people said wow, this. Wow, okay. Zero people said this. One person said that. And I don't get to know who said what. Fuck. So I like, could ask the Discord instead if you like. It's a bigger sample size. We'll see. We'll see okay. when we get there, I Let's, guess. Maybe we don't need it. Maybe you're like that. Maybe, maybe I know ball. 14 questions. There is no eat one. So <sighs> use your nothing. You got to go flawless. Wow. But question number one for $500. Are I you could, ready? I could use 500 When was Christian McCaffrey's rookie year? A, 2015. B, 2016. C, 2017. D, 2018. Don't tell me we're struggling from the start. This game was made for you. Okay. I, I, I know it. You know, okay, so answer. It's 20. I I'm, I think I'm like quadruple checking right now to make sure that I don't fuck this up. But it's 2017. Locked in? Locked in. Bang! Okay. $500 done. Yeah, this is nerve wracking not being able to get a single not one a wrong. single lick. Oh, that's, that's good. That's a good start. On to $1,000. We're 13 steps away from a free t-shirt for the audience. 13 easy steps. One foot in front of the other, baby. For one... Big rack. Who has not thrown for 5,000 passing yards? A, Dan Marino. B, Justin Herbert. C, Joe Burrow. D, Ben Roethlisberger. Bro. We are already... No! Tony, Dude, okay. this Damn. is built for you. How is this built for me? Okay, if it's you, built for me, then it, then the answer... You know these answers. If it's built for me, then it's Justin Herbert. I'm not saying that's my answer, but if okay. it's built for me, Justin Herbert's the biggest fraud here. Dan Marino, I'm pretty sure, has done it. I think it was, like, crazy that... A dude that old was throwing for 5,000 yards. I, I like, I'm, if there's one guy I know it's not, I feel good about Danny Boy having done it. Okay. Ben, you just played for so long. I feel like he's had to have done it once. Maybe, maybe one time. Who has not thrown? Okay, so Joe Burrow. 50-50. Joe Burrow, if we really think, how many good years of Joe Burrow have we actually had? Like, the dude's had two shortened seasons. Small sample size. Herbert is like the king of just having. 5,000 yards for no reason. He might, he's pretty empty cow. He's a young empty cow? He's pretty empty cow. But at least, I will say Justin Herbert, like, while a perennial loser, is pretty good, whereas Derek Carr is, like, not good and is strictly empty cows. This like is not S-tier okay. empty cows, if that's a thing. Mm-hmm. I got it. All right, so it's between Burrow and Herbert for me. The only reason I think it's Herbert is because you keep saying this is made for you. So I think you want me to slander Herbert because you know that's what I want to do. But I think Herbert's done it. I don't know who you take off the board if I go 50-50. Shit. Let's go... Let's go 50-50 and pray to God. You're already going 50-50. I'm already going 50-50. I'm not going to let the people down. Okay. Nick used his early last time, but not early number two. We will eliminate A, Dan Marino... In B, Justin Herbert. Okay. Give me give me Joe Burrow as Locking the dude who has in. not thrown for five thousand yards. Official. Yes. Bang. There we go. Joey B, kind of a kind of a fraud. Justin Herbert did do it two years ago. All right. Double it up. Double or nothing. Two bands. We got who is the tallest? Oh fuck. What? This All game right. Was built for you. I don't think it's Sam Darnold. Jared Goff is shockingly tall. Trevor Lawrence, we know, is tall. 
Will Levis is also built. Facts. Will Levis is built, but I think Will Levis may be more wide than he is tall. He's fit. He's fit, dude. He's strong. Jared Goff, I think, is like 6'4". He could even be 6'5". Trevor Lawrence might be hitting 6'6". Six, six. All right. Give me a poll. Already. Bro, I Only. have to. I have to. I don't know. I, like, I can't eat one. Oh, my God. All right. I'm going to go get some answers. <laughs> I know I probably shouldn't be using these lifelines this early, but I don't want to let the people down. I want you guys to feel the comfort of this awesome fucking merch. I mean, not only does it look sick, the colors are beautiful. The design is flawless. I want to live in this merch. I want to sleep in it. I want to eat in it. I want to work out in it. I want to get married in it. I want to die in it. Bury me in this merch. That's why I'm using these lifelines early. I can't go... I, I just can't go down. Oh, no. They're split between Goff and Lawrence, we aren't they? We got results you don't like. There's five members in the office, okay? Shit. One person said Sam Darnold. Sam I'm gonna tell Darnold? You right now, that guy's goofy. Two yeah. people said T-Law. Two people said Jared Goff. So I got to say, the poll... Didn't feel like a great usage at this point. Or is this on you? Because this was supposed to be question me, number let me, three. Let me say this. This this is on me. A free one. One of the tallest guy is two inches taller. It's not like I'm just like, oh He's two inches taller. Yes. He is significant okay. So it's okay, not okay, like okay. a little like uh maybe like he's I, two inches okay. taller. In that case, in that case, I kinda think it's Okay, but you do see what I mean when this is, like, on you, that you can ask a question. It's completely split. I'll tell you this. The people, this doesn't, like, change anything. I know the answer, obviously. The people that answered it correct was Nick and Gut. Um, Casey. Casey said Sam Darnold. Yeah, Casey yeah. said Sam <laughs> Darnold. And then JL and Joe agreed on the uh, wrong answer. Nick and Gut got it right, and JL and Joe got it wrong. That's already more information I should tell you, but just think, what would Gut and Nick probably be thinking in this? Okay, if one is, if one guy is going to be two inches taller, if one guy's fake 6'5", and the other one is actually 6'5", tall but not huge, Trevor Lawrence just, like, feels like he towers over people, but then Jared Goff is, like, sneaky tall. I'm just going to lock in who I, who, a guy who I know is tall, Trevor Lawrence. You know, at the combine, they don't count hair. But Trevor Lawrence is correct. <laughs> oh. <laughs> For a second, I was like, Jared, Jared Goff kind of got like the comb back, and I was like, well. Facts. Yeah. That was just fun with me. Trevor Lawrence, 6'6". Six, six. Jared he Goff, 6'4". Six, six, six. Okay. See, Jared Goff is tall as fuck. He's, he's a big dude, but T-Law's got height. Yeah, he does. Two superpowers down, but that's okay. For 3,000, let's just keep let's get some pace going, all right? This feels like when you have to run a mile. And by half of the first lap, I'm already gassed. Yeah, water, bathroom. I'm, right, I'm so, yeah. I'm toast. Snacks. All right, for 3,000. <laughs> give me an orange peel. Vernon Davis played for the Broncos. Locked Bronco, in. Locked in. Bang! Easy. Here Maybe we go. Like, Speed oh, round. Okay. That should have been, that should have been the $500 one. Easiest three grand I've ever made in my life. All right, for five grand. Who's had the most sacks in a single season. You you threw Chandler Jones on here you. like a scumbag. Bruce Smith, I know, is like most all time. He's either one or two. Chandler Jones was always so sneaky good. But I don't think it's... He's not like most... Are we talking about most between these four? Or like they have the record of like most... Between these four. Okay. the most in a single So season. none of these guys have the... Strahan has the Strahan record. Strahan okay. and tied at the record. Gotcha. But one of these guys are... The record is 22 and a half. One of these guys have 22. Chandler Jones is sneaky good, but not that sneaky good. I, I wouldn't know if he had a 22 sack season because Chandler Jones, my That's guy. Yeah. Y'all are tight. I feel like we had a trivia where Houston had a 20 sack season. Was it 22? <laughs> Justin Houston's just staring me in the face. <laughs> uh, all right, this might be the end of the show. This might be it, people. I might be dead, but... We do a decent amount of sack trivias, and I, I'm pretty sure Justin Houston was like that. I'm going to lock in. I'm going to lock in Jay Hugh. Give me Jay Hugh. Bruce Smith is the all-time season sack leader. No, wait, what? But not the single season sack leader. Oh, Justin okay. Houston. Okay. Thank God. Yeah, Thank God. Yeah, fucked with your mushy brain right there. Well, because I asked you, do it, are they the <laughs> leader of sacks? And you were like, no. And I was like, what? Bruce Smith leads all time. Like, right, 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 right. All right. 5K. We, we, we pumped the brakes on the pace a little bit, but correct, didn't use any powers, on a seven grand. Who has the most career receiving yards? 
Mike's oh, the big I, boys. This this one feels easy. Get it. Uh, it's not. I'm not gonna go with Jimmy Graham. You're not gonna take a moment. Just think about it. I'll take a moment. Out of respect, there's your moment, Jimmy Graham. Moment but yards wise, you don't feel like you compare to Gates. Gronk also doesn't feel like he compares to Gates. Olsen, I actually think, has a sneaky amount of yards because, for the most part, he was able to stay healthy. He was, like, a big part of his offenses, played for a long time. But, I, to me, this one screams Antonio Gates. Locked in. I'm going to lock that in. Bang! Let's go. Good pace. Keep it going. That one was easy. These, these questions are out of order. Maybe. For 10 bands. Lot them. 10 bands. On my way to 100 bands. Where? BYU. B Y, you know what it is. Ah, lock Correct. it in. That I didn't was know easy. With, like the abbreviations, a little boys. He could have be. I don't know. Could have be throw you off. You no. got it. All pro Fred at a B Y U. This was built for you, as I said. On to twenty k. We're hitting a lot of speed bumps, but I think I think my average time is I think all we're right. We're now halfway though. That was seven for twenty thousand dollars at the halfway mark. I've never seen twenty thousand dollars in my life. Could today? Could today? Everything's going to change. According to oh. Underdog Fantasy, who is projected the most home it's runs? It's got to be. It's got to be Shohei. I this mean, upcoming season. It's it's definitely not Trout or Machado. Ellie De La Cruz. They might fuck around. Like they probably put his line way higher than it needs to be. But we're talking about two way different power hitters of Shohei Otani and Ellie De La Cruz. Give me Shohei. No respect for arguably the goat. Mike Trout. No. Correct. Yeah. Shohei Otani. I love Mike Trout, but, like, Mike Trout just ain't doing it like that anymore, you know? Fair. It's bad. If, if he was doing it, Shohei probably would have stayed with the Angels. Fair. Me and Ellie, same birthday, exactly. Really? I've Do you know the numbers? Me, makes me feel, like, so, like, a bitch. Like, he's in the MLB, 22 years old. Yeah. I'm, 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 I've come, I've accepted I'm that fact. I'm hosting a game. <laughs> talking about him. <laughs> you look sharp in a suit, though. Thank you. Uh, I feel like I can almost tell you what these numbers are. Shohei. 40. Uh, it might be 42. 42. I think, uh, I Ellie think. is at like, he should be at like 24, but they probably put him at like 28. I think you might have nailed 28 and a half. Trout is probably down at like 25. 30. 30 He's flat. at 30. That's and crazy. I think Machado might have been the second high. It's like 34. 32. I could kind of see it. I thought, or I think I'm thinking of Tatis. Tatis, I think, was 34. Tatis is definitely higher than Machado. Yeah, I think Machado's 30. I think that makes sense. All right. Pretty good. More B ball, please. That might have been it for the baseball. Any basketball but, questions? Because then I'm toast. I think there might be one. Fuck, might dude. Be right here. All right, for crowd. $30,000. Over halfway. We've come too far to let you down now. On underdog. Which quarterback Ooh. is ranked the lowest in best ball drafts? It's definitely not T-Law. A, Trevor Lawrence. B, Justin Fields. C, Anthony Richardson. D, Jordan Love. Ain't no way it's T-Law. I can tell you that. A hint I will give. Ooh. The correct answer is quarterback 15. The other three are top 10. Okay. So there's a gap. Okay. To me, it's between Fields and Love. I think Trevor Lawrence... He's in his own – he's just, like, in a tier above these guys. A. Rich, I think people are way too excited about him to be drafting him at 15. I could see it. Everybody feels like we're off Fields. Like, Fields feels like the most disrespected dude. We don't know where he's going to be next year. Like, And to be honest, I, I was sending out disrespectful offers trying to get Fields off my dynasty team. So I think that's where I'm at with him. Jordan Love, a lot of hype to end the season. Beat the shit out of the Cowboys. What's my lifeline? I get to ask somebody. To call in one guy. There's a guy sitting here across the room. Yeah, so I think I know Nick knows this answer for actual factual. Also, I, I will say, I think if you get this right, even like Nick might help you out here, you might one-up him because this might be the question to get past where he got last episode. He might give me the wrong answer. He might do me dirty, but I'm – see, I'm not really competing with Nick. I'm competing against you. No, I'm trying to get – Competing for them. I, that's what I'm saying. I'm competing against you for them. Got it. I'm trying to get them – this nice shirt. Hit up your boy then. All right. What's out of there? Casey's out there. No, no, no. I, you could just, are you calling, are you cashing it in? I'm going to cash it in. I'm going to call Nick. If Nick does me dirty, then the people know that I didn't fail them. Nick failed them. Nick, please step to the stage. Get it's, close. The camera is kind of. It's got to be Justin Fields, right? It's not Justin Fields. Really? Yeah. I'm glad I called on you then. Is it Jordan Love? 
you it's a rig. You did the same thing I did, where my immediate first thought was, oh, Javante Williams, the highest rank guy for sure, ended up being the answer of the lowest rank guy. It's T Law. T Law's going as quarterback fifteen. Yeah, he's down. People are off. People are off. It him. is still up to you to answer. I'm. I did my first best ball draft on underdog a couple days ago, and I was. I am. I ninety nine point nine percent. Yo, T Law would have been my last answer. I probably would have gone like off the board, be like trick question, right answer's not even here. T Law people are really off T Law like that. Yeah, I think so. He, I mean he was just he was so subpar in fantasy last year. It's just he's just not the law, you know? He's just not the law anymore. That's fair. The law. Feels like a guy who we know is gonna finish at Corby Q, QB fifteen, but we'll draft him at QB five. All right, lock in T Law. Bang! Woo! A Rich is the highest. He's like QB six. Yeah, no, A Rich. I felt good that like people just people just want A Rich, you know. Pretty nuts. Mm-hmm. T Law. I know you don't love him, but like that's disrespect. No. Um. Yeah. I mean, to be honest, if I was drafting for one year, like I think. Good thing you brought in a helper. Good all right. Thing he has some recent fifty thousand dollars. Five questions ago. Should we like one, two, take, three, We gotta appreciate this. No. I'm I'm dialed. Okay. I'm focused. For Fifty grand. No more helpers. Just Anthony. Just me, baby. Put this team on my back like Greg Jennings. Who has caught the most touchdown passes from empty cows? Okay. A. Hunter Renfro. B. Darren Waller. C. Amari Cooper. D. Michael Crabtree. You put a sar wide receiver like Crabtree on me. That's the result you're gonna get. Dude, I I kind of think it is Crabtree. I don't, I don't, I feel good saying it's not Cooper, and I feel pretty good saying it's not Waller. They just, like, weren't there long enough. Crabtree wasn't there that long either, but Crabtree was, like, doing it for him. Like, I think he had, like, three, he had, like, three seasons, I think, of double-digit touchdowns with the Raiders. Dude kind of resurrected his career in Oakland. Hunter Renfro really only had one good year. I, I would have a hard time imagining his fucking Renfro. With that last question, though, answer being T-Law, I guess we're now in the, now in the, um, Gotta say, the trickery T-Law. zone. Two correct answers in this. That might, that was a little fucked up by me. Oh, he was the yeah, tallest was guy too. Yeah. yeah, hand up. To be honest, I wasn't. I, I that never crossed my mind. Being like, oh, he was an answer for another one. I feel like that's like when I take a test at school. It's like, oh, if this was the answer for that one, no right. way. It's no like, way. There's four A's in a yeah. row. You know, <laughs> what is this fucking teacher doing? <laughs> this is reckless. Um, it might be pretty reckless, but in my heart of hearts. I got to stay true to myself. I think it's Michael Crabtree. It is as sorry-ass wide receiver Michael <laughs> Crabtree. I got to say, narrowing it down to Crabtree and Renfro is like God, the last Crabtree. thing. I, Renfro, I, like I think it's in like ascending order. Renfro, Waller, Cooper, Crab. Yeah. But like Renfro would right. Ren, Renfro would have been the hey, trickery. Like he's just bit, he was there the longest. Therefore, he accumulated the most touchdowns. But good, Four more for that beautiful shirt. Four more, baby. For a hundred thousand dollars for the people for the people which running back has not had a 1,000 yard receiving season I gotta tell you it's tough because I don't know who Charlie Taylor is but I think it's him Marshall (laughs) Falk B Roger Craig C David Johnson D Charlie Taylor do you know who Charlie Taylor is I know the answer to this okay David Johnson I know has because he went for a thou a thou Mm -hmm. double thou piece Roger Craig I feel good that he did, but that might have been before his time. Like, Roger Craig was the pass catching back before that was a thing. So, maybe, like, maybe hitting 1,000 yards through the air wasn't even, like, a thing for a running back back then. Marshall Falk did it. If Marshall Falk didn't do it, nobody did it. Facts. We're all living lies. I thought about throwing in CMC, but I'm like, that's too cupcake. For $100,000, can't throw in that gimme. Well, the problem is, if you threw in CMC over Charlie Taylor, you'd have four guys who all caught for 1,000, right? Right. Who knows? I just don't know who Charlie Taylor is, and I feel like I've made enough trivias about receiving running backs to where his name has never popped up for me. Fucked. Maybe I made that name up. I you, sounds like a basic ass name, don't it? Yeah, kind of. You know, I'm I'm a Roger Craig was great through the air. David Johnson, I know did it. Marshall Folk, I know I did it. Give me Charlie Taylor. Locked in. Locked in. No more helpers. No more. Ladies and gentlemen, Charlie oh, Taylor up. is the end of our show. Fuck. Who the fuck is Charlie Taylor? Charlie Taylor. David Johnson, you cunt. It's David Johnson. No, he went for a thousand. No, a thousand. He did not. He did it. We have this argument with you every 
<laughs> this game what? was built for you. What do you mean? Wait, wait, wait. I'm like 99% sure. No, no. I thought about putting this as the Millie. No, why day. couldn't you have used someone who we all know? Who the f- you made up Charlie Taylor? That's no, not no, even a real Charlie dude. Charlie Ta- Taylor has the record. That's why he's in here. He has the most in a single season. Uh, no, <laughs> he I'm just sorry, doesn't. Brother. That is the ball game, and you will not be walking David away. Johnson is the biggest with fraud. Dollars. I know. Look, he had a good season. I think he had 900 plus. Is that what you did? You ran back there to tell everyone I was about to fuck it up on David Johnson? There, there was a game where Nick had the question, and we were like, Tony, Tony thinks David Johnson. I'm like, I should reuse this. And what? Every This is just something that everybody knows? This thing. is office knowledge that Tony At thinks David Johnson a thousand-yard receiver? I almost said, like, I know that you know that you don't know a question. <laughs> but I didn't want to get too cocky because I had faith in you. But Why? If I look it up right now. And David Johnson has that. Back check all you want. Why do I? Did he get close? He got got close. He had a great season. Maybe I just keep hearing people say David Johnson went for a thousand, thousand. They're just being, they're just rounding it up. You know what I mean? Like you? Yeah. Maybe, maybe this whole time I've just been. The streets? I am people. I've just been rounding it up this entire time. 879. God damn it. What the fuck? (laughs) He didn't even hit the 900? He didn't even hit 900. Wow. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we don't even get to find out the other questions. We don't get to find them out? Nope. Why? Because you will be back for a million just me, dollars. Just let me rip them. You can't make another million dollar question? That's how broke you are? This you have one million? You. It might just be the same question. <laughs> All Charlie Taylor facts. I got to go watch a Charlie Taylor documentary. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, that is who wants to be a millionaire. There is still no rich BDG members besides the host. Give us a like. Give us a sub. Maybe next time you'll want a t-shirt, pants, sweatshirt, underwear, socks, and hats. Not today. Thank you, and good night. I'm devastated.